There, I did it. David Gansel here. Please pardon the crudity of my broadcast signal, but I'm coming to you from the year 2021. Welcome to Armchair Imagineering. record many times as someone who loves the Simpsons ride, but wishes it didn't have to replace Back to the Future. I get that we're well past the future that the ride depicted, but that's a really easy fix. Just get Christopher Lloyd to double-eyed saying, we've entered an alternate 2015. Or just change the time display to always be 25 years from the date you're riding. It's not specifically 2015, it's just always the future. Or just leave it as is because the average guest really doesn't care. But I don't want to lose the Simpsons ride. I mean, I know we probably will. When the licensing agreement is up, unless Disney lets Universal keep the Simpsons in exchange for Florida Marvel rights, they're gonna snag the Simpsons away from them and put them in a new version of... the bakery tour video or something. But assuming the Simpsons ride stays in place, where could Universal put a reopen Back to the Future ride? What could be Back to the Future's density? If only Universal Orlando had an entire new park opening and a need for new themed lands. That's right, I'm pitching Back to the Future Land as one of the epic universes for Universal to epically put in Universal's epic universe. I know guests can see Hill Valley in Hollywood, but the average guest can't walk around it. And Universal Orlando has never had a real clock tower and it's high time that was rectified. At one point both coasts had the Psycho House, there's no reason both coasts can't save the clock tower. But to do justice to a Back to the Future land, this can't be an internally consistent, makes sense in canon land like Galaxy's Edge. See, what makes Galaxy's Edge work is they were able to craft a new planet that could incorporate everything you'd want from a Star Wars experience. As long as you had a market, a cantina, a few opposing military bases, and a place for a spaceship to launch, you could craft a whole new terrain around it and it would make sense. With Back to the Future, the things you'd want from the experience are from different decades, so they can't coexist canonically. Unless you craft some backstory about Hill Valley being caught up in some sort of time vortex paradox bubble that's causing multiple timelines to converge on a single moment or something, I don't know. The point is, this is far more likely to be like Wizarding World, where it sort of takes place in all parts of the timeline at once. And at the center would be the Hill Valley Courthouse, and every 15 minutes, thanks to projection mapping, it would transform before your eyes into the courthouse in a different era, much like the Transforming Beast Library in the Animation Building in California Adventure. It would start as the 1955 courthouse with a working clock, then it would appear to get struck by lightning and transform into the 1985 Department of Social Services with the clock stuck at 10.04, then it would transform into the 2015 Courthouse Mall, and finally into the 1885 under construction courthouse with no visible clock at all, continuing to loop through the four iterations every hour. So, aside from the Institute of Future Technology and the magical transforming clock tower, what are the top experiences that would cause me to immediately make like a tree and get over to Hill Valley Land? Well, I think the Cafe 80s is a gimme. The thing looks like it was built for a theme park already. I think everyone my age would love to be told that we're old and boring by Elijah Wood. Then I think it would be fun to pop into Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise Casino. It would actually be an arcade, but you know, theme to a sleazy casino. Although if they could bring back that Back to the Future slot machine that I never got a chance to play, I would like to try that out. I also think it would be worth adding the train from Part 3. Not the time train photo op, but an actual rideable train. Maybe Epic Universe could have a train that goes around the park Magic Kingdom style, and the Hill Valley stop could be the Old West train station. Then there's a show venue in the Hill Valley High School stage, all decked out for the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. The venue could host a concert that takes you through the different decades covered in the franchise, with a band that seems to transform from era to era, traveling through time while we watch them play music on stage. Kinda like that Rock the Jukebox show that I riffed at Hershey Park a while back, but focusing on the eras of music covered in the franchise. Alternately, the stage could host a condensed version of that new Back to the Future musical if that ends up being a hit. And why not? Let's add a roller coaster! I know that originally a roller coaster was considered for the Back to the Future ride, but Universal Creative realized they couldn't effectively tell a character-driven story on a traditional roller coaster. A lesson their main competition seemed to forget a few decades later. But while a roller coaster may not be the best way to tell a Back to the Future theme park story, I think it is a fine thing to coexist with the already established Back to the Future ride. 
it wouldn't have to be a full narrative experience. It could just be a good roller coaster that launches you at 88 miles per hour through a track with light up effects, emulating the lightning and the flames while Alan Silvestri's iconic theme plays. Would I want this to be the only Back to the Future ride that exists? Of course not. But I want it in a Back to the Future land. Especially a Back to the Future land that, as established, is not trying to fit into the canon, so we don't need to narratively justify why there's roller coaster tracks in the land. And even though it never made much sense, just as a nod to the franchise's theme park history, let's throw in Doc Brown's fried chicken. Now, is this likely to happen? No, of course not. None of the revealed Epic Universe concept art even hints at Back to the Future being part of it. But you know what? This park's future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. This park's future is what Universal makes of it. So Universal, make it a good one. I rescind all rights to any of these ideas to you, Universal Studios. Just whatever it takes to allow me to revisit the Institute of Future Technology. I know whoever runs Back to the Future's Twitter account is on board with it. In the meantime, do you have any other Back to the Future theme park ideas? Let's discuss this in the comments, and until next time, I'll see you in the future.